Hey everyone, in this video we are going to explore the top 5 tools that every front-end developer should be using in 2023 with GraphQL. First up we have the GraphBase Open API Connector. With GraphBase you can unify all of your different REST APIs that follow the Open API spec and expose a single GraphQL API. This is a really powerful tool that any developer should be using that want to explore moving to GraphQL but can't update their existing REST APIs. GraphBase takes care of transforming those REST APIs using the OpenAPI spec into GraphQL. There's nothing you need to do except configure, give it a name, specify the schema for your OpenAPI and provide any headers that are required for accessing the API. It's very easy to get started using this CLI and you can initialize something like Stripe, GitHub, OpenAI and many others using one of the templates that are available with GraphBase. Next is the GraphQL code generator and the client preset. The single biggest advantage to using something like GraphQL is its built-in type system. The GraphQL code generator takes that same type system from GraphQL and converts it into TypeScript types. For many years we've relied on GraphQL code generator to generate the individual hooks for all of our different front-end libraries. However, now the GraphQL code generator recommends that you use the client preset, along with type document node. This means you no longer need to rewrite code to work with different clients. If you choose to upgrade your client or switch it out for something else in the future, there's not much you need to do because you're using the type document node, which all of these will provide support for. One of the other biggest changes to the GraphQL code generator and the client preset is now the recommendation to inline your types or fragments for each of your components. So you can specify that a component has specific data dependencies and then you can use that fragment inside of your component and all of that will be typed. Then when the GraphQL code generator inspects these, it can create the types further up the tree, part of your queries and mutations where you spread in those fragments. It's also open source, so you can check out how all of this works with the function overloading on GitHub, and you can see all of the different examples with all of the different front-end libraries over there in the repo. Next up, we have GQT, which aims to replace the entire GraphQL client itself, so you don't need to worry about configuring code gen, writing all of your queries. GQT will take care of compiling all of those GraphQL queries once you start to access things inside of your code. We can see inside of this example that we use a import from GQT to use query and then we access certain fields from the query. And GQT knows about all of the different types on these queries and it will compile this and run this. GQT is also open source so make sure to check out GitHub for all of the documentation and examples. This is going to be really cool and a really popular tool when working with GraphQL. Next up we have the GraphQL Network Inspector. I absolutely love this tool. If you're someone like me that's working with GraphQL on the client and you open the network tools, all you see is slash GraphQL, slash GraphQL, slash GraphQL for every single GraphQL query and mutation. Well, now you don't have to. If you install the GraphQL Network Inspector, you can distinguish between all of those different requests and being able to search, see the request payload and the response payloads inside of your developer tools. The GraphQL Network Inspector simplifies the debugging process while developing GraphQL web and mobile applications on the client. The GraphQL Network Inspector provides all of the valuable information that you need about the request, including the variables, search payloads, filter responses, and much more. Next up we have Graphman. This is a cool tool that allows you to generate collections for Postman and Insomnia from your GraphQL API. It's built with Dino and all that you need to do to get started is run a command inside of your terminal pointing to your GraphQL endpoint. If you've had to create collections when building front-end applications before and share those with your team, well now you no longer need to do that because this is built right into Graphman and it's an awesome cool tool that is open source and available on GitHub so you should definitely check this out. So this has been my top five tools that you should be using with GraphQL in 2023 as a front-end developer. If you're using something else or would like to suggest something different to what I've mentioned here, please leave a comment below and let everyone know.